Okay, so we've taken that exponent rule and we've extended it now to cover all the whole numbers as long as the base is not zero. For any number b except zero and any whole numbers m and n, we have that rule b to the m times b to the n equals b to the m plus n. We already ruled out the base being zero because weird things happened with zero to the zero. Now, we want to say what it means to have a negative exponent so that this rule still works if m or n or both are negative integers. Well, what could it possibly mean? Let's look at a concrete example first. Let's say, what is 2 to the negative 3? Well, we want that exponent rule to continue to work. So we want 2 to the third times 2 to the negative 3 to be 2 to the 3 plus negative 3. That's 2 to the 0, which is 1. Oh, we want 2 to the third times 2 to the negative third to be 1. I think that gives the game away. We want 2 to the negative third to be the multiplicative inverse of 2 to the third. 2 to the third is 8. So it's 8 whole things. It must be that 2 to the negative third is just the reciprocal of that. 1 eighth. So 8 times 1 eighth is 1. That's what we wanted to have happen. Okay, how could we come up with that in general? Well, that 1 eighth is 1 over 2 to the third. Let's do that now in a less concrete way. Let's say that in general. For b not 0 and now m any integer, we must have b to the m times b to the opposite of m is b to the m plus the opposite of m. So that's just b to the 0, which is 1. So, b to the negative m must be the multiplicative inverse of b to the m. What does that mean? Well, if b is an integer, b to the negative m is 1 over b to the m. That's fine. If b is a fraction, say, b is some number p over some number q, then p over q to the negative m must be, take the reciprocal, q over p to the m. Let's see if that works. Right? Let's say we want two-thirds to the negative three. I'm claiming that's three-halves to the positive three. Right? That's three-halves times three-halves times three-halves, which should be twenty-seven-eighths. What do I mean by that works? Well, two-thirds to the positive three is two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds is eight twenty-sevenths. And eight twenty-sevenths 
times 27 eighths, yeah, that equals 1, which is, of course, 2 thirds to the 0. So that works still. So that gives us our definition, then, of what it means to have a negative exponent. If we take an integer to a negative power, we take the positive power in the denominator. If we take a fraction to a negative power, we take the positive power of the reciprocal. 